We're going to have to move it up front so we can sell it over there. We Hi, everyone. Yeah, i got to get the ironing board, too. So yeah. we didn't have the ironing board with us. Hi, Diane, Beverly, Patsy, Carla, Jennifer, Corinne, Cindy, Sandy, Louise, Cheryl, Karen. Lots of people flying on. Mary, Lana, Vicki. Thanks for joining us. Hi, if you're joining us on Instagram. So we are Quilters. This is Quilters HQ and Windmill Sewing Center and uh, Sewing Machines Express. And hi, Kathy. We do this every Tuesday at six to seven Central Time on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. So thanks for joining us. Be sure and say hi. We have giveaways. We have a giveaway winner. So we recently gave away a sewing machine, and it went to entry number. I have details. Whoa, details. <laughs> 50,686. That was the winning entry. A lot of people. Well, yeah, a lot of people. Like Hi, Tom. Hi, Donna. Kind of. They have to find their number to claim it. I don't <laughs> no. Know. <laughs> We're just teasing them. <laughs> so, um, so, we have some demo. Hi, Cheyenne. Have a demo for you today on a new machine. I'm really excited about it. I really like it. Robert's sweating right now. Um, we have some new stuff to show you, some new fabric kits too. And Susan has a show and tell. So stay tuned for all of that. But we have a new sling, sling here in uh, sling. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> We have a new saying, or actually it's a request, and it's, will you COVID my mask? <laughs> will you COVID my mask? COVID my mask. COVID will you COVID my mask? my mask? And so somebody drinks coffee and then puts their mask on. And I don't know. Everybody's been wearing these, and they kind of get... Kind of yucky. <laughs> Let's just <laughs> put do. it that nice. And they give you pimples. Yeah. So... You got to um, wash them. Laura Starr has this iron. They actually sent it away and had it certified. This kills COVID. And it's a dry steam. <laughs> you can set your makeup with it. And you can roll it around the store to clean. Yeah, does it work to clean? Drapes. Could. Yeah. You could do your well, drapes with drapes, it. But the chairs and everything, if yeah. it's not hot. Yeah, right. it's a dry steam. It so. is. So, we didn't do that. So, it's a dry steam. So, COVID, my mask, is steaming all of the bacteria. It makes it really fresh smelling, too, which is really nice. Okay. This one's mine. So, I'm going to flip it over and do the other side, too. So, you don't have to wash it then. You just iron the goo into it. <laughs> 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 it kills the bacteria. Yeah. You still gotta so wash, you it, to but wash it, but you still it have is to nice wash it. to get a fresh in the middle of the day, though. It is nice not to have coffee breath mask. Just hecklers. Saying. You got hecklers. I have hecklers <laughs> all day long. <laughs> hecklers. I just got here a little while. Ago. I was here all day long. <laughs> I saved my heckling for tonight. So. That's the saying. Will you come in? Hi, Teresa. My mask? Hi, Tina. So that wasn't the demo. The Hi, demo Susan. Else. Hi, Connie. Sherry on Let's YouTube. Iron. Hi, Nancy. Is that what we're using from now on here in the shop to do all yes. of our yeah. iron with? Yeah. Yes, you can use it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It gets hot. It's heavy, too. So it's a heavy little. Like so you don't have to things. work quite mm -hmm. as hard to iron your products. Now, well, that's. <laughs> Go ahead. We have does questions. It turn, does it turn off automatically? It does. It turns off That's after good. 10 minutes. That's good. So, like when we're ironing our material or. If our, you're going to ask our, questions, you have to come over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, here they come. She was going to crawl over the table, and I was going to have him show you. It's like a parade. But when they iron their blocks with it, excuse me. Oh, they said. Their strips. 
Do you still have to go like this so you don't <laughs> stretch it? Yeah, you do. I mean, the ironing doesn't change. Plus, you use your acorn oh, press. I just figured with that hot, dry steam, you wouldn't have to worry about it. So, Patsy said it should be de-COVID my mask. There you so, go. There it is, Patsy. De-COVID. So, yeah, they actually sent these irons away to whatever testing institute. I don't know how they got like a sample of COVID to kill it with an iron, but they probably had an employee or something. Hi, Kathy. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just steamed them. There you go. Send it away to a lab to have it tested. So, um, does this iron have temperature variables, or is it one heat fixes all? It heats up to 300 degrees, but there is a little dial on there so you can control it for high heat or medium heat. Um, oh, it's not very heavy either. Oops, I better put it down. <laughs> it made a little noise when I picked it up. That was the water. If you have a delicate fabric like silk or polyester oh, that cool. you want to use, it has this Teflon plate that just... So Oops. for rayon too. Yep, rayon, Teflon, it just goes on there just like that. Cool beans and then you can use that and it won't stick to your so. fabrics or just slides a little easier so come by and see what that's all about come by and test it out Darn. test drive it bring an extra mask decovid your mask over there you the go. Store and you can decovid us there you go <laughs> so something fun to start off yeah. the evening it is fun yeah. i have one of these at home i like it yeah, it is nice. Is it there is something nice. you don't have at home, Joan? I bet I know. I There is something I don't have at home. I bet you're going to show them tonight, too, aren't you? <laughs> I am. She's pretty excited. I am pretty excited about it. <laughs> okay. So let's go up here. Susan has a show and tell. So you have to go back around the table again. <laughs> oh, did you get the TV? So that's going to be your new classroom TV. Where? There. You you can't miss it. No, I mean, you're going to put it up here, in here, over there. Oh, these cords. Yep. Hi, Susan. Hi, Robert. How are you? I'm Hi, fine. Chloe. <laughs> oh, come on, louder. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> so, I... last weekend, I decided I was kind of in between projects, <laughs> ha, 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 and I just finished up some masks, and I thought, okay, what's next? So I decided to start working on some UFOs. I have a UFO. It's not quite finished, but it's very close that I started over a year ago. So I'm going to show you where we're at right now. It is a quilt as you go. It was a June Taylor uh, where the pattern is stamped on an interfacing. So you fuse the fabric as you go and stitch it down and you do it one block at a time and then it's the strips here that make it that you're pulling it together with you're not taking the blocks and sewing them like you would a regular quilt the issue i came up with though is i don't know this is my first project like this in the way that you put it the blocks together and as you can see, that's just kind of limpy there because there's no batting in there. The instructions didn't give clear indication of how to do that so that you have some body within it. And I don't like that. So Michelle Atchity from uh, Windmill Sewing Center was in yesterday and I showed it to her. She said what she does I'm going to set it down. It's before she stitches this back piece over, she just takes some batting that she has left over and puts a strip in there, pulls it over, and then you hand stitch it down. And I said, well, I thought about that, but I'm tired of taking it apart. And dear, sweet, lovely Michelle said, well, there's not that much to take apart. It wouldn't take you long. <laughs> What I didn't tell her was how many times I've already taken it apart, <laughs> but I will probably do that because I really don't like the, the limp 
I yeah. want it to be a little more solid even though it's going to be a table topper or wall hanging or whatever. Um, but I wanted to share that with y'all tonight. I'm working on stuff. This is what I think I'm going to use for my binding. It, because I use mostly scraps in this. Because so it's I, not bright enough, you know. It's not. It really is I not. like it. <laughs> I do too. I think the colors are great. Well, because it pulls everything out. If I'd have had more of the green, I would have done the green, but I think that's going to work out pretty well. So that's my show and tell for this week. Well, thank you for bringing yes. it in. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to bring in my piles of UFOs. There's way too many. Oh, well, I have a lot, so, mm -hmm. you know, we'll see where I go with them. Now, for some more fun, as I'm sure that you all have been getting notices from AccuQuilt that they have three new dies and they came out today and I'm going to show you those three new dies. First I'm going to show Hi, you Ellen. Hi, Mary. the 12 inch snail trail. Okay and the only go cutter that you could use this on is the go big. You can use it on the ready set, you can use it on the baby because it's a 12 inch die. This is what they came out with today. It's an eight inch snails trail. I like it. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. It's a little more manageable and I think a lot of us do an eight inch block. Mm -hmm. uh, you could go through a 12 inch and get it done very quickly. But So this is the companion. They did that with the crazy quilt block. They started out with the 12 inch and then came out with the eight inch. And how many cuts are on that block? separate pieces. Just four. You had to ask, didn't you? You couldn't prepare me. Early. Put your peepers on. Yep. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, and so you could probably use some of those pieces on with another in conjunction with other blocks that you right. have different sizes because you've to got half square block. triangles yeah. in mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and um, I'm guessing trying to find where it's at in here. Okay, so the the four patch that's in the middle here, I'm guessing those are two and a half inch, two inch finished squares. But as Joan pointed out, you've got more versatility with this. It's not just you have to do a snail's trail because you do have half square triangles in there uh, and you've got the squares. So there's a lot going on here, a couple variations of the pattern that you can do and again when you open the die this is what the cutting surface is going to look like and they have it lettered so they can tell you what order they're going to go in and what where you need to put it so again they're very helpful with that this die snails trail eight inch is 69.99 and we do have them in if you want to catch it now, make it mine is what you need to say. And snail's trail, eight inch, so we don't get it confused with the 12 inch. Make it mine. And then either to mail it or to pick up in store if you're right, near us. Yep, right. And in conjunction, and I'll show you the other two, in conjunction with that, the process that we go through once we've got those online orders. I'll go through in a minute. Say, oh, okay, you'll go through. It's <laughs> <laughs> not just me. No, it's not, not at all. Do that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I'm getting older. I'm not gonna say old because someone will argue with me. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Debbie. This is my favorite Hi, one that they've come out with. Mine too. Of the three. Like so there, there, we had some viewer questions back on the 8 inch. So will that fit in the Go yes. Baby? No. 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 Okay. The Go Baby is strictly 6 inch. Okay. Okay. But this will go with the Ready Set Go and the Go Big. Okay. Hi, Miranda. This one will go yep. with the Go Baby. 
And if you look at any of the dies when you're shopping for them, they will tell you down at the bottom what they're compatible with, which is very check. helpful. This is called Starry Path, and I think it's just wonderful. It just looks fun. And here, here's one of the variations. It doesn't even look like that. It's very uh, modern, but there's another term, avant-garde, mm -hmm. maybe, because of the colors they've used. What size block does it make? I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. Depends how many blocks you put around it. There you go. <laughs> Nine inch finished. Okay. That's a good size. If I'm reading this right. It is. Okay. I passed. <laughs> Woohoo. Woo! Hi, Carla. The cost on this one is $79.99. But I just I just love that. Because I like stars too. So this is just a cool variation. So if you want Starry Path, make it mine, Starry Path. The last one is very traditional. You've seen it in a lot of um, quilts, variations of it, the maple leaf. This will do with the baby go, or the go, and it'll go with the other two. So you can use this on all three of the cutters, okay? And here are some of the variation in patterns that you can do with it. Again, when you cut the pieces, they are lettered, and then their instructions will tell you how to put that together. And it's along here. It also gives you the information for the patterns on each of these, how much yardage you would need. Uh, how much was Starry Path? I didn't tell you. Starry Path is that one down there. This is Maple Leaf. So oh, how much was Starry, Starry Path? Path? Yeah. $79.99. Okay. Maple Leaf is $69.99. Okay. So if you want Maple Leaf, make it mine maple leaf. Okay. We do have these in the store now. We don't have to hide them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So let us know and you can get started. I like the maple leaf one too. I do too. Uh, so do we still, so AccuQuilt Club, maybe we can mm -hmm. talk about that a little bit. So you're in charge of club. I, that is, that is I'm one of my clubs. <laughs> So, uh, AccuQuilt Club is the third Thursday, and we are starting a new project. It is Storm at Sea, and the so we all voted, and the one I didn't vote though. Darn, I should have voted. Um, the one that won was the High Tide. So we're going to start that this Thursday. We do broadcast live on Facebook in the Go Club group. So if you have an AccuQuilt cutter and you can't come to class, um, go to web, uh, the Quilters HQ web, um, not web page, go to the Quilters HQ Facebook page and request to join the group and we'll go ahead and approve it. That goes live at 10-ish in the morning, no, 10.30 10 in the morning, time. central time. And we'll be going over um, how to make that new quilt. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to use solids. So, what about the 5.30 session? Do you it's a, film it or do you show nope. the one from the morning? No, nope. we just redo the class. We just don't go live at 5.30. So, there's two sessions. It's There's enough people on there that, you know, we had to have two groups. So, the 5.30 group is just us. We're not going live again. So, it'll be the same content. So, so you that's... You can rewatch. You can rewatch it. Um, Boy, that would make my life easier if I just click the TV and go, here you go. <laughs> well, what fun would that be? I know, it's Did not. Do they have to register online on our yes. website under calendar and events? Yep, under the calendar events, you do need to sign up so that we know how many people's coming so we can put chairs back here and social distance and everybody wears their mask. 
but um, this is going to be a fun project. I think it's going to take us about four months to complete, and then we'll come up with something new. So, okay. cool. So, what else is going on in the store tomorrow? We got tomorrow an we OESD have, uh, virtual event. OESD virtual event. That's free. Yep. So, um, quilting in the hoop. Quilting in the hoop with your embroidery machine. That's a that's one we get a lot of questions on is how to do that. So OESD is having that. It is free. You do got to go sign up for it though. Um, you can go to the website, right, Chloe? Yep. You can go to the website and sign up for that. All, all three of them, and they are QuiltersHQ.com, QHQ, and the number two.com, and wind, Windmill Sewing Center.com. And you can sign up on any one of those sites. It is free. And since it is hosted by the manufacturer, I'm willing to bet they have specials. Yeah. So and it's a short one. It's, it's 45, 45 minutes. minutes. Yeah. 45 Not minutes. How long so, did you say it was? Um, 2 to 245. Yeah. 245. No, 2 to 245. 2 o'clock to 245. But they can't watch it. They can access it up to 24 hours after. So you maybe oh. can't make the time. They'll send a link to the virtual. You have to re-watch. say that louder. Or get in front of the camera. For the OESD event, the virtual event, if you sign up, you can still access the event afterwards. Even if you can't make the time, they'll send you a link afterwards, and you can access that for up to 24 hours after the show is over. So nice. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. so if you can't make the, the two o'clock time then sign up and you'll get 24 hours to watch it so. yeah so if you're more of an 11 o'clock person when everybody else is asleep and you can freely shop <laughs> there, there you go. go that works okay we've got a kit to show we're going that, that way. way do you want me to grab your coffee hmm? oh, that's not mine Got it. And a giveaway. We have a giveaway. We actually have two giveaways. Three if you count the sewing machine. Do you want to do the giveaways first? Sure, we can do a giveaway. Everybody on? Hi, Corinne. So we have two. We'll wait to the other end to do this one. We'll wait till later to do that one. Okay. Um, so this is a um, it's a baby quill. Um, Shannon Fabrics. So this is Cuddle Fabrics. It's already pre-packaged for you. Everything you need to know is in the box. It's got the pattern. The quilt is 28 by 37. These are so much fun, and when you quilt them, these are, you can have amazing designs quilted into them. Hi, Christina. Fun. Welcome. So, we'll wait for a second, and Chloe can get our winner for us. Yeah. So. Do you want to go while she's picking that? Yeah. Uh, that's fine. I don't care. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Our new kit is Woodland Wonderland, and this little book is included in the kit gives the materials list. I don't know if you're seeing this or not. Probably not because Robert's yep, moving there the we camera go. around faster than I can. So anyway, it's got the instructions. It has how it works. It shows it has illustrations. Hi, and, Susan. Uh, it's really a neat little book to go through in order to make the pieces that make this quilt. Let's get a close-up of the quilt. Flip it over. I don't know if that's the right thing. Yeah. Okay. Pretty. It is pretty. And um, so it's all these little pieces that you'll be making. And this is the fabric that you'll be making them out of. And this. Well, and this. But this is the background. And there's some plain in there, too, that you'll use. But uh, this is the the main fabric packet. It's really pretty. It really is. I think it's very nice. I'd flick through it, but it's all sealed up. It's a Moda product. And what you'll get, then, is the the uh, black background, and then wherever it has plain red or plain uh, off-white, I guess that is, you have uh, pieces of that that you can use rather than this kit because it doesn't contain those. So the whole thing, all together, the, the fabric for the patterns, the, back, the backing, 
and the book background. No, background. or the background. I keep messing that up. I'm sorry. I'm just a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long, short week. I have to tell you. <laughs> long, short week. <laughs> two, two days. Two days so far. <laughs> anyway, this is the background, not the back thing. <laughs> just so you know, you have to provide the back thing. So, um, the kit is $129. We have six of them. Do we have seven of them? No, six. we have six. One of, one of the other one is a store one. So we have six of them. And if you're interested in this, you better get your, uh, get your name in there quick for Woodland Wonderland. Make it mine, Woodland Wonderland. If they want to know the value, this fat quarter bundle. The fat, the fat quarter bundle itself is um, ninety two ninety nine. I have to. I didn't have my. You how, know, how big is that guy? Fat quarters. How big is it? They're fat quarters no, and no, the, quilt? the quilt. Oh, the quilt itself. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on you. Um. Okay. Fifty two by sixty and three quarters. Fifty two by sixty and three quarters. Okay. So that'll go over a table, it could go up on a wall, or it could go on a twin bed or something, maybe. Or it's throw. Hi, Jackie. Huh? It's got an owl, it's got a gnome. It's got a hedgehog, I think. It's got mm -hmm. a hedgehog. It does. Uh -huh. There's a hedgehog in there? Yeah. There is. Oh, okay. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So that's a cool kit, and we wanted to tell Hi, you about Robert. it. It's a great uh, Christmassy kind Hi, of JJ. project. It's got all the Christmas colors in it. The little trees look like Christmas trees. This kind of looks like a snowflake. So it it's, can be a seasonal quilt, or it could be just a quilt that you just love. It doesn't have to be a project. A time. Okay. So that's uh, that's our new kit. Make it mine, Woodland Wonderland. Thank you. We have six of those. We have six. That's right. That's right. So be the first in your block. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So who's our winner? Uh, Christina Adelsberger. Christina, congratulations. This is her first time watching. Oh, this is, wow. okay. Oh, Welcome, exciting. Christina. That's great. I'd write it down or. We do this every week, Christina, so, you know, come back. Don't make this your only <laughs> time stopping Adelsberg. and shopping. Adelsberger? A-D-E-L-S-B-E-R-G-E-R. Great. Congratulations, Christina. And we've got another giveaway after this, toward the end of the show. Yep. And then the big one that everybody's waiting for. Oh, yes. Oh, is that when you're going to give me winner a winner for the sewing machine? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm so. going to win it, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. No. <clears throat> they wouldn't let me in or... They, yeah, we wouldn't. So if you're just joining us, um, how does the invoicing work? And we do giveaways sometimes. We pick some pretty big things that may run for a yep. little while. We've been talking about doing a scavenger hunt, which I think would be a lot of fun. I think that would. For a big prize. Yeah. So that would be something fun. So um, to enter like the drawing we just did, you have to comment so that we know you're here. Um, so if you want to purchase something that you're showing and you're hearing people tell you make it mine that's what you type in the comments is make it mine and the product and whether or not you'd like us to ship it or you want to come in the store and pick it up shipping is free over seventy five dollars otherwise we charge you four dollars and ninety nine cents to cover the envelope and the, some of the postage and things like that um, so if you'd like to shop with us and you haven't shopped with us before, you can go to any one of the websites on the home page. There's a little bar that says register for Make It So, and you'll click on that and it'll give us your information. You'll just fill out the form. It gives us your information. And what we do is go through the comments and tally up who wanted what. And then we send you an invoice from our point of sale. It has a clickable button that you can pay with a credit card or PayPal, whichever is more comfortable with you. And then once we have the payment, we'll either set it up front for you to come pick up or we will ship it to you. It's that simple. Yep. John, what's it? 
an estimated time frame. By the time, say, tomorrow these come in and Carrie gets those orders, they get the invoice, and then how much time that it gets shipped? So um, we're not offering a lot tonight for sale, so it should be tomorrow mid-afternoon we should have everything processed and ready for you to pick Try up. Try to get them out as quick as we can. Yep. And sometimes okay. we give things away twice because somebody so doesn't register. So if you won tonight, Christina, and whoever else is going to win because we have two, two giveaways, um, then go to our website and register so that we can get that to you. Yep. Or if you're local, you can come in and pick it up. But sometimes, you know, people abandon. Where are we located? We are in two cities. We are in um, Windmill Sewing Center and Quilters HQ is in Overland Park, Kansas, which is a suburb of Kansas City. And Sewing Machines Express is in Springfield, Missouri. I think almost every state has a Springfield, doesn't it? Is that one of the trivias for Springfield? Oh, maybe. I think, I think so. so. We actually thought about doing some trivia stuff too, some sewing or history trivia on sewing, which I think would be fun. So oh, we might yeah. do some of that too. So come up with like something weird, like who knows what a bodkin is. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Paris, where are you? A bodkin is like a stiletto, is it? Sort of. Not I mean, quite. Almost. Okay. Oh, great. JJ. JJ lives in Springfield. So, Thanks for joining us. Very nice. So, shall we do the new? Yeah, new so there are some the new? new products out this time of year. You know, the manufacturers <laughs> release new products a lot of times um, or coming up towards the holiday mm -hmm. season, kind of like cars almost. And so one of those products is actually in and Joan's going to do a little show and tell on it. So yeah. I think it'll be fun. I've been having fun with it yeah, a lot. Playing with it a little bit. So let's go see. I'm going this way. Drink my coffee. Machine. I'm getting out of this <laughs> So this is it. And unveiling. unveiling. Well, I'm not going to do the grand one because it's. I've got this laying on my head. This is a Bernina Q16. New so, model. It is a new model. It is a quilting machine. Right now, there's a couple of stand options. This one is really cool because if you prefer to stand and sew, you can raise this up to pretty high. Robert could even quilt with this. So, because he's okay. pretty tall. This is too high for me, I think. But it's stitch regulated. Um, I've been having fun with it. So is this so, the quilt that you were talking about finishing yes. on one of the show, previous shows? It is the quilt that I was talking about finishing. I have to lower this because I can't, I can't stand. I don't have those kind of skills to like stand and talk and so. <laughs> Can we do Pat your a head, like rub and your share tummy. from standing here in, in the store? Because I would like and share that if I could. <laughs> I wish everybody else would like and share too. Yes. <laughs> so this is actually super easy to lower, just a little bit more. So I've got my little spongy grippy things. And if you look... What are I've those been... called? Yeah. <laughs> grip and stitch. <laughs> grip and stitch. These are twenty nine ninety nine. Um, they're called grip and stitch. Comment, make it mine. Grip and stitch. Pick up or ship um, if you would like a set. I like them better than the gloves because my hands get well. I have big hands for one, so finding gloves that fit is really hard. And then you know if by chance I broke a thread or needed to change a bobbin, you had to peel those off. These are just easier. So, hang on to those. So you got to find your niche when you're sit down quilting then. You do. What do you like? So I'm just doing this really easy swirl pattern. Oh, and I learned something. I, was, I, like, I like documentaries. So I learned this thing. So they had this show and they were talking about, so they did an experiment and they did brain scans on people at the same time. So, I don't know who volunteers for those. But, I don't either, but... <laughs> you know, it's bad enough that you got to go to the dentist. You get a call the on the phone, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'll do that. 
<laughs> so anyway, they had somebody and they had them do this simple pro, um, thing on a piano. And then they, you know, did an MRI of his brain or a scan of some kind to see what part of his mind was affected. And so then they had somebody else just sit down and close their eyes and imagine that they were doing the same thing. And guess what? Their brain had the same growth and made the same connections as the person that actually did it. So, if you want to be a better quilter, close your eyes, sit down at your machine, and imagine that you're quilting and making these perfect circles. Ooh. And your brain will expand the same way as if you were doing it. Okay. How easy is that? Well, I'm on board. <laughs> You're next. You're <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be sitting here, guess my eyes who, closed, quilting. Guess who just volunteered for? Ooh, that's me. <laughs> that's them. I usually so, do volunteer for everything. You do. You're such a good sport. <laughs> so I've got this set. It, it actually is going to start slow, sewing when I push the pedal. It's going to sew a little bit slow, but it's stitch regulated, so it's going to keep up with me as I move the fabric. And I might actually just turn it while I have it down here like this because I've got quite a bit already done. And I'm just working my way in a circle here, doing circles, working in a circle. So is this a certain technique that you would... So this is a really easy pattern that anybody could learn how to do really quickly. And my advice was would be don't try to make your circles round, make them oblong, Make them different sizes so that it looks intentional. So we could say that my lack of skill in doing these looks like I planned it that way. Creative process. It is the creative process. And by the time you finish a small quilt like this doing one single pattern, you will have mastered it. So um, I don't have any rhyme or reason where I'm going with it, but i got to find the pedal. There it is. And so you can see it's sewing slow, and then come back, and then start a new circle. Stop for a second, and then come back out. I'm going to go over here and do one. Who wants one? <laughs> Did you start she in the wants middle everything. when you started that? I did start in the middle. And so one of the things I wanted to show you is when you have an intersection. So this is a lot of points coming together like this. So I am just planning to make a big circle here where I don't have to go over that point. So you can see this is a pretty easy pattern to do. So um, hopefully I'll have this done by the next time. All of this that I did, I did while we were just prepping for, well, everybody else was prepping for the show. I was sewing, so I don't feel bad about it either. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is a lot of fun. You can tell it's quiet. Um, and to, we can't get pricing on this one over the internet. No. So if you're interested in something like this, you can call us here at Quilters HQ, or you can go to uh, call Windmill Sewing Center. The, they have this machine in both stores. Okay. It's a lot you're of thinking fun. thinking about a sit-down quilter? Yeah. It's an option. So, and um, the table does affect the price. There's a couple, there's actually three table options for this machine. One's so, a fold up. One is a fold up if space is an issue for you. It just kind of collapses down. One of them down. is a koala elevated cabinet. One of them is a koala, and this is the horn cabinet that raises up. It is nice. It's got these little extender tables that come on it. It's got some drawers for cookie storage. <laughs> we don't do that, right? Yeah, right? So let's go see what we're giving away. Uh, did you have some comments there? 
Uh, how did you sandwich together the quilt? How did I sandwich the quilt? Yep. So Robert made this really cool table here. So maybe we go through that process. <laughs> so um, I have this big table. It's not a very big quilt, so I can get most of it on the, um, the quilt at the same time. So I put my backing down on the table, and then I put my batting on top of it. And then I put the top on top of that. And then I took my ruler, just not the grippy side, the smooth side. We actually use a yardstick in the back to do the same process. And basically, I took my ruler and smoothed out all of the wrinkles on hey, this. Ellie. So you do kind of need a little bit of a space. You do have a big table Hi, Mary. to do that with. Um, it's not a very big quilt, so I didn't pin it. So I'm letting the static from the batting and the backing, or the, the batting, hold the back and the top together. So if it were bigger, I would definitely pin it, but this is, this is not even 60 by 60, it's a small quilt. So, and the, uh, the batting does create a lot of static to hold that together. Um, if you wanted, and you were doing a quilt like that, you could glue baste it. That's one thing that we do quite frequently here at Quilters. We've done probably over, well not probably, we have done well over a thousand quilts since we opened. Um, and one of the ways that we do it, our quilts go in flat, they're not on a long arm Hi, where Penny. they get rolled. They go in flat like they're in a giant embroidery hoop basically. And so we glue baste around the edges so that the hopping foot doesn't catch it. And you can watch that live stream um, when the machine's running on our website. Yes, you so can. If you want to go see the machine running, you can actually go and watch your quilt being sewn out. We have a couple of videos on YouTube as well of quilts being quilted. There's some short clips on Instagram of the machine running. There's a really cool one on Instagram of some skulls that we quilted on a Tula Pink yeah. quilt. Yeah, that was cool. It was, Halloween's it's a very, fun. very <laughs> beautiful quilt. Is Jenna, Jenny, Jenny Chetty, yeah. Yep. Yeah, she, she might be on. I don't know. So we've got some drone video of it too, that we're going to post yes, here pretty soon. So that's going to be kind of cool. We did some drone shots of the shop, which is fun. So. so we have a form on our website. If you're not local to us, you can mail us your quilts as well. Hi, so Amber. There's a form on our website, quiltershq.com, where you can go in and put in the dimensions of what you'd like us to do on your quilt. Um, there are some patterns. You can call us. We can walk you through it too. And just ship it to us right now. We're about three to four weeks out for quilting, but that's going to pick up pretty quick. So, do we have uh, any? Hi, Dorothy. Questions? Should we do another giveaway? Sure. This Everybody's is one we gave away before, giveaway. and they didn't pick it up, but everybody seemed to like it. Nobody commented back, and so we reach out. So with these, we will contact you three times, and if you don't answer our message, private message, then it goes back in the bin. So this is the giveaway. It's this cute little sewing machine. Uh, Moda makes this. It looks like a featherweight. Yeah, I think it is. So this would be perfect on your jacket in the winter. Just, just saying. What do we charge on the quilting services? We charge 1.8 cents a square inch, and that's for the quilting. We do have batting, so like. Um, there is a calculator on our web page where if you go and you put in the dimensions, so say your quilt's 100 by 100, it's going to be $180 plus tax. Governor wants her portion too um, for the quilting. So you can either send your batting with it or you can use our batting. Um, we charge the batting by the square inch as well. Um, we do binding here. We can trim and serge your quilt, which if you've never had that done, I highly recommend it. It's a game changer for binding your quilts. So, um, what else? Um, is, is the pin enamel? It is. Think? Okay. It's an enamel um, pin. The other thing we need is we need your backing to be 8 inches larger than your top. So if your top is 50 by 50, we need the back to be 58 by 58. So four inches all the way around or eight inches larger than the top. 
if we are doing your binding, we need the binding to be pieced on the diagonal where you join it and it's like that on the strip, two inches and left flat. We have a machine that presses it into a bias binding and then we can just make it. So Penny Verdon. Penny Verdon. Congratulations, Penny. Congratulations, Penny. Can you write that down? Oh, I can't reach it. Congratulations, Penny. Update on the shirts. We are still working on the shirts. Hopefully that will be coming soon. We'll have some designs that we're going to put out there on uh, Facebook and some places so that you guys can uh, give some input, which I think will be fun. Okay. So make it so shirts coming soon. Perfect. What else do we have tonight? That's it, except for the announcing the... Who won good. the sewing machine? Yeah, who won oh, the sewing okay. machine? That's that's the big wants. one. Everybody's that's been waiting one. for that one. So let's go up and show it to them. Yeah. So this is it. It's the El Nita EC60 by Elna. This is a really nice sewing machine because you get your locking stitch, needle up, needle down. You get scissors. It has a needle threader. So this is a good, good Great sewing. retreat machine. A lot of people come with a retreat machine about that size. So. Yes. So the winner is from Walpole. I hope I said that right. Walpole, Massachusetts. Are we ready? Haley K Kramer. Is Congratulations, the Haley. Congratulations, Haley. I think she's going to enjoy it. Um, if she doesn't contact us, we have in her information. Okay. She had to give it to us when she registered. She registered. For the giveaway. Okay. We will so, reach out to you, Haley. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody, for participating. So, we're coming up Hi, with Jane. something new to do as well. Just going to put that right on there. So congratulations. It was a lot of fun for us, and I hope that it was a lot of fun for you. I think the next one we should do a scavenger hunt, though. Yeah, I think a scavenger hunt would be fun, and we'll have a big prize. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'll have to come up with something big. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a big prize and put something together and announce it on the show, and we'll have fun with it. So, yeah. yeah. And if you have ideas for the show, be sure and send them in. Something you want to see, a technique. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, something like that you're interested in, please send it. And uh, we'll be happy to try to get it on the show. Yeah. So I think we've got quite a bit of content coming up. Yeah, we do. Over we the next few weeks. So. so, and I'll show you fun. the progress on the Storm at Sea quilt as well. Um, hopefully next time we'll have that one finished. I might stay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, that machine is a lot of fun. I was going, man, this is really relaxing. And then somebody, <laughs> yeah. somebody came along and said, "Hey, it's six o'clock." <laughs> so that's us for tonight. I would um, like to throw something in about the T-shirts. I was told by another associate in the store that you're looking for sayings to put on the T-shirts. And, yeah, and I what so. I came up with was, I quilt, therefore, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and and if, you, if the viewers have ideas as well of what you would like on the shirts, um, I think that would be great. Send them in, comment, colors. Um, at yeah. colors. Um, mm -hmm. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's in progress. <laughs> so that's us for tonight. How do we send off the show, ladies? Bye. No. <laughs> Make it so. Make it so. Good night, Have a everybody. Have a great week, everybody. See you next Happy week. Happy quilting. <laughs>